Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio operator, KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to take a look at a question from Bob Carver. He's KB0XT. And his question is very simple and actually has a remarkably straightforward answer. How close can I place a 20 meter dipole to a 6 meter dipole without having problems? The answer is that they're so apart, far apart in the resonant frequencies that uh, you, I'll show you a way you can actually combine them. It would be nice to mount them on the same pole, absolutely. By the way, thanks for all you do. You have been very helpful with all your videos. I'm just getting back into ham radio after 25 years of not being on the air. And I cannot believe how much the hobby has changed. And 73 is from Bob. Well, Bob, uh, let me show you what you can do with that antenna. First of all, if you were to string a... Let's get this back here where we can see the whole uh, board. If you were to string, say, a 20 meter dipole, and I'll assume it's center fed, um, between the tree, and you wanted to put in a 6 meter dipole, well, you could practically just hang them right over each other, okay, and you're fine. Uh, you could hang it over the end, whatever. You see, this is 6 meters, 54 megahertz. Um, more like 51 if you're using um, the um, if you're using the weak signal modes. Okay, this is 20 meters. This is 6 meters. 20 meters, which is around 14 megahertz. Now you see they're very different from each other, okay? And so the two antennas are not going to interact much. If you really positively do not want them to interact, put them at right angles to each other. Six meter dipole is not very big. Three meters, which is, uh, let's see, 10 feet? Um, 10, 11 feet. It's not very big antenna at all. You can stick that almost anywhere. If you're going to do FM work with that antenna, mount it vertically, okay? Uh, otherwise, mount it horizontally. And the 20 meter one could mount that vertically, but normally that would be mounted the other way. Let me show you something else you can do. Uh, I've got a couple things to show you that you can do. First of all, let's consider the um, reference antenna. Now, if you go to um, dcastler dot com slash reference it gives you everything that you could buy to put together a nice HF station for a new general or maybe a general with experience maybe even new a new amateur extra it's got the ICOM 7300 in there the antenna is the MFJ 2010 Okay, that happens to be a multi-band off-center fed dipole, and it's got um, 20, um, let's see, 40, 20, 6, uh, let's put them in the right order, 10, and 6. So there's your 20 and there's your 6 in one antenna. It's about $80. Okay, one antenna, you've got it. Now let's suppose you want to make something yourself, not so exotic, okay? And I'll show you what to do. Make a 20 meter dipole, okay? 20 meters, so that's gonna be 33 feet long. Okay, tapped in the center with your coax, okay? Very easy to do. Just use house wire, whatever you want. Not the house wire that's currently in use. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is 20. 
So this is 33 feet, so it's 16 and a half feet on a side. Now, just attach right there to the same connectors your six meter dipole, which would be about five feet there, about five feet there, okay? That's your six meter dipole. And uh, you can either put a bracket and kind of hang it down under the other, or you can just pull it away like that and have a separate uh, rope taking it down to the ground. Um, you could even let it sort of hang with a rope over here, but then that makes it really kind of spooky in the air and you'd end up getting the thing wrapped around the top. Okay, so you've got what's called a fan dipole. A fan dipole is a dipole with multiple band elements all connected to the same connector up here. Okay? So you'd put like an SO239 in place here, run the wires off of it like that, and then connect uh, in a length of antenna. Or you can just actually solder the inner conductor to these two and then the outer braid to these two. Put an insulator in the middle for mechanical strength. Okay, this will give you a fan dipole. Now let's suppose you want to run 15 meters. Well, just put a 15 meter length in there. Okay, this is a fan dipole. It's extremely cheap to make, especially if you've got an old spool of wire uh, like uh, THHN 14 gauge or uh, 10 gauge. You could even rip apart old Romex and use the pieces in there. And yes, you can solder wires together to get them to be a little longer. Uh, if you find that this thing is too low in frequency, you can fold one of the other pieces, wrap it around the thing like that. Even though it's still insulated, you can do that. There are lots of different things you can do. If you make it out of THHN wire, THHN um, THH in THHN wire. This is house wire, house wiring. It's made out of soft copper. It will stretch a little bit with time. So just think in time, you may have to take the thing down, readjust it for length and so on. And eventually that wire will come to the end of where it stretches and by then it's kind of hard copper wire. Either way, conducts just fine. So I hope, uh, Bob, that that gives you lots of ideas um, of what you can do about putting antennas on the same pole. And if you can actually do this, even putting a pole here and making this whole thing over here an inverted V. Okay. And you can pull those wires away at odd angles. It just gobs of flexibility in what you can do. So I hope that gives you a good idea what to do. And there you have it. If you have watched this video this far, I would recommend that you subscribe. A subscription tells YouTube that you have given a vote of confidence to this channel. And it helps with the YouTube algorithm in recommending this video to others. Also, if you'd like to help support this channel financially, you can do so uh, by going to dcastler.com slash support for different ways that you can do that. The money that comes in for that uh, helps me pay for my assistant, Callum. Uh, also helps me uh, purchase things for review. I uh, just purchased a weather station uh, that there uh, will be a video on that, putting that thing up, because uh, the old weather station kind of went kaput. And uh, it does help me fly. So there's lots of things going on. Um, I greatly appreciate all of the support that uh, you out there, you Augies out there. Augies are subscribers um, and anyone can become an Augie simply by subscribing. And until we next meet, 73.